Hi everyone, welcome to another Armour 3 editor tutorial. This one's in response to a lot of people asking me questions and making comments about recruiting AI for your missions and then being able to dismiss them when they're not required and getting around some issues with other things that we've used previously where you end up being able to uh, recruit every unit on the map rather than just the ones that you want. So in this, uh, I'll show you how to use a script called Bon Recruitment Script. There's a little bit of setting up to do, but it's not that hard. Uh, but firstly, let me show you what it does. So in the mission, uh, or in the editor, you can place an object. Uh, that can be a building. Um, I guess you could use a vehicle. I've just used a flag for this demonstration. And you set this up as the location that you recruit infantry in. So you go up to the object and you get the Recruit Infantry option. Use your scroll wheel to select that. And then you can recruit the units that you want from the list. And you'll see in the top right it says, for example, the last one I asked for was Lat Operator added to queue. And these guys will just spawn in one at a time. So processing medic operator. My medic's arrived. Now I'm processing an automatic rifleman. He's now arrived. And another lat operator. And there we go. Uh, you can recruit as many as you like, there's no limitation. Uh, and you can, as with all uh, AI, you can... Copy that. Uh, they will Ready. follow you because they're part of your group. You can order them to go to different locations. All the same stuff you can do with normal AI. Now if you look at each of them and you don't want... Let's have a look. I don't want the uh, lat operator anymore. If I just look at him, I have a scroll wheel option to dismiss and he will then disappear. And these are AI units I've placed over here. And because they haven't been spawned with the recruitment system, I can't recruit them, I can't dismiss them. They are basically just props at the moment. But with these guys, Copy. I can do what I need to do with those. And if I don't need them anymore, I can just dismiss them. So that's how the system works, and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, to make this script work, it's not that difficult. You just need some standard stuff, as well as a few files in a folder. So firstly, you need to place a playable unit, which I've placed, and you need to place an object. Okay, so that object can be a flag or a building. Um, I guess you could even use a vehicle if you liked. Uh, that's all you need to place in the editor um, for this to work straight up. But you need to go to Scenario save as and then you need to put in a mission name and save it then we need to go to the mission folder so in a mission folder we have the mission sqm which you don't need to play with we have an init.sqf description.ext and to create a text folder or a text document if you haven't already right click go to new select text document give it a name and change the file extension to SQF and we've done that before in other videos so I guess you guys by now probably know how to do that okay so once we've created a, an init.sqf we also need a description.ext so in the init.sqf if we open that up you'll see that there's a line of code um, and it's just exec vm bon recruit units slash init.sqf that's all we need to put in there again I'll put this into a paste bin document for you and we also have the description.ext we'll open that and there's a couple of lines in here that just refer to the HPP files that are inside the script folder again I'll put that into a paste bin document for you 
Now we do have a folder inside here and it's the bond recruit unit. So this is where the script resides. Okay. Now there's nothing in here that you need to edit. Okay. Nothing at all. You don't need to play with any of that. Uh, and I will work out a way to get a link for you to download the bond recruit units script. So provided you've got the codes as I've shown in the init.sqf and the description.ext inside your mission folder, uh, this will work. The other thing you need to do inside the editor is whatever object you have placed to use this script, you need to open that up, give it a variable name of barracks, and you'll need to put this line of code into the initialization section. Uh, again, I'll put this into a pastebin document for you, so you can just copy and paste it. And uh, it should work. And just to show you that this does work with a vehicle, I've added that initialization script to the init of this vehicle, and I can use this as a recruitment facility. You may be wondering uh, how it recruits the units of the faction that I am using. So whatever AI you place as your playable unit or whatever faction you place as your playable unit is the faction that will be recruited when you request a recruit. So what it does is it, it works out what you're using and it will then uh, simply copy it. Okay, So you can see we are the same faction. Uh, there is a way to edit the factions if you wish. Um, but I'm guessing that most people are going to want to just use the faction that they have uh, as AI troops. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, and of course with the vehicle you can still um, use the vehicle. In fact I'll order my AI troop to get in. Solid copy. I'll get into the gunner's position. Ready. And I'll get him to drive. And I'll gun. So that's how you use the Bond Recruitment script to recruit and dismiss AI troops in your mission. It works in single and multiplayer missions and enables you to recruit AI that are part of your faction. For the initialization or the init.sqf and the description.ext codes and the initialization code for the object you've chosen to use as a spawning location or a recruitment location, please refer to the pastebin documents in the description below. I've also placed a link for you to download the Bond Recruitment script folder. As always, if you've enjoyed this content, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos. If you've got questions, please post them in the comments section below. You can also visit our Discord and ask questions there. The link is also in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.